In 1902, an organ farmer named Ellis Hughes chanced upon a new discovery. Well, new to him at least. He came across a massive boulder that he believed was made almost entirely of iron. What Hughes had discovered that day turned out to be the largest meteorite found in North America. Hello and welcome to Anything History. The story of the Willamette meteorite is quite fascinating. It not only touches upon the very early origins of our solar system, but who owns these ancient objects? It's believed that Ellis Hughes was the first to realize the boulder was extraterrestrial in origin, and he thought he could make some money on the novelty. Unfortunately for him, it was not on his land, and thus he didn't own it. Hughes spent the next 90 days moving the 15 and a half ton meteorite three quarters of a mile to his property. Little did he know, it was another in a series of incredible journeys that the Willamette meteorite had taken over the last several millennia. According to NASA, a meteorite is an object from space that survives its passage through the atmosphere and lands on the surface. Scientists estimate that between 50 and 100 meteorites hit the Earth each year. Of course, estimating the number of meteorites that have landed over the centuries is impossible. Still, we know the largest meteorite ever found in North America was the one found by Hughes, and it was discovered near the Oregon town of West Lynn. Scientists believe that at some point, thousands of years in the past, the Willamette meteorite hit the Earth's atmosphere at approximately 64,000 kilometers per hour as it collided with the surface of the Earth. We do know that the 15 and a half ton meteorite consists primarily of metallic iron. Geologists believe that it was formed from a planet's core that it entered our early solar system, and its unique appearance comes from the incredible heat generated from entering the Earth's atmosphere. Sulfur compounds in the meteorite vaporize upon impact with the Earth's atmosphere. Combined with water in the atmosphere, form sulfuric acid. The intense heat and resulting acid etch the distinctive cavities that characterize its surface. The unique etchings combined with the iron that makes up the Willamette meteorite make it extremely rare. Of the 25,000 meteorites found on Earth, only 600 contain iron. The iron may have been formed in a dying star and expelled into the solar system. Because of its origins, the Willamette meteorite is a unique extraterrestrial specimen that gives scientists a rare glimpse back into the creation of the solar system. Now here's where the story gets a little more interesting. One of the mysteries surrounding the Willamette meteorite is there is no evidence of a crater or an impact site in the vicinity of where it was discovered. This led scientists to theorize about its incredible journey to Oregon. It turns out, roughly 13,000 years ago, cataclysmic floods came from a glacier near Montana at the end of the last ice age. These floods occurred over a period of 2,000 years and discharged a staggering amount of water and ice, the equivalent of 13 times the volume of the Amazon River. These floodwaters picked up large boulders called glacial erratics. Examples in the Willamette Valley can exceed 40 tons. Incredibly, the 15 and a half ton Willamette meteorite most likely made the 500 mile journey embedded in a piece of glacial ice. Now to finish the story, we need to return to Ellis Hughes and his ill-gotten rock. After moving the meteorite to his property, Hughes promptly announced the discovery and crowds lined up to see the extraterrestrial curiosity. Unfortunately for Hughes, one of his customers was an organ iron and steel employee whose land the meteorite was initially found on. Oregon Iron and Steel sued Hughes and the case went to the Oregon Supreme Court, which returned the meteorite to the company. A short time later, Oregon Iron and Steel sold the meteorite to a Mrs. William Dodge, who eventually gifted it to the American Museum of Natural History in New York. Now it's important that we backtrack a little bit here in our story. We have to acknowledge that the European settlers did not discover the Willamette meteorite. It was, in fact, the native inhabitants of the area who knew about it and considered it a sacred object. The American Museum of Natural History and the Confederated Tribes of the Grand Ronde Community of Oregon reached a historic agreement in 2020. This agreement ensured the tribes had access to their sacred artifact. It also allowed the continued study and display of the Willamette meteorite in New York City. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, 
please leave a like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out.